that even if my storytelling falls short, this is going to be a most beautiful journey. The story you will hear today is unique, and might I add, most wonderful. The first chapter of Kathleen and Jeffrey's story begins at two different times in two separate locations with the entrance into this world of Kathleen and of Jeffrey. Each has achieved much individually up to this day. I know, for I came to know Jeffrey in the U.S. Senate. And then later, I came to know Kathleen at the Rand Corporation. I came to know each of them separately, both perhaps before even they had met. Jeffrey. I vow to you my heart, and with it my love, my loyalty, all of my me. I will play make-believe with you until the corners of our dice are worn smooth as marbles. I will speak to you lovingly and honestly in all things, not just honestly, but forthrightly. I will savor every bite of the mysterious freezer leftovers, <laughs> wait for it, labeled only a gift from past Kathleen. <laughs> Jeffrey began playing D&D &D in my campaign and I began to play in his. One weekend, I invited him down to watch some friends and I fight in armor. We weren't wearing tuxes. We are members of the Society for Creative Anachronisms. Jeffrey, when I first met you, I thought that you were a Prius driving, whole food shopping, teetotaling nerd. <laughs> I found in you sort of theosophata. It's Arabic for traveling companion. It's more than just a friend, though. It's someone that you protect and someone you can rely on. You are that. Sometime thereafter, this same dragon took Kathleen and Jeffrey on the first of many magical journeys, crossing above all the lands and all the seas. They soared together above sarsens and blue stones, drank the wine of the gods from golden chalices, and each evening they danced together across the rooftop. I promise to you things that are not even anyone's to give, like all of time. I will be with you to the ever, sharing our joys, our struggles, our adventures, and our sorrows. for a while that there's a fourth one. Today you get to be the fourth one. Uh, it's Omri. Omri literally means my age or my years, but what it means is all of my years or my life because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I will wander the world 
to its every corner with you, and then find the byways between stars and travel the infinite and the eternal. has really given love a run for its money, literally. She's been on the run from day one, maybe not a running away from love, but always running towards something else. Travel, adventure, accomplishment, that's one of the things I've always admired most about my big sister. Not by the greatest tempest, not by the most novel of plagues. For love is truly a miracle. As in her eyes the stars appear, as gems upon a silver thread, hold each other always dear, in arms, in soul, in heart, in head. So good, it feels so good.